Welcome to Greenback. Hey there everybody, how's it going? The Genuine Fur here. And today, like the sign just said, we're in Greenback, Tennessee. And this is a place that I have never been to before. This was one of the towns I found when I was doing, doing some research for some neat little places that I'd like to visit, like I'd like to explore. And it just had a neat name. It wasn't too far from where I live. So I thought, you know, we've got the day off today. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sunny, warm day. So why don't we go head out and uh, go check it out and see what we can find. So if you'd like to join me, and I sure hope you do, let's go ahead and get started. Real nice little town they've got here. Not a whole lot to see, but sometimes, Sometimes you need a break from the, the large, bustling towns, you know? Taking the peacefulness and the scenery. And there's definitely, definitely plenty of that around here. And like I said, not a whole lot to see. You got a depot. Post office. Got a nice little diner here, and even a little museum. Really not a big town at all, just one, no stoplights, you just got a four-way stop up there, a bank, and that's about it. Just about all these folks need. Like I said, it's nice to take a break from the big cities and come check out these tiny little communities. Yep, that's about it. But there is one main reason why I wanted to come all the way out here to film this particular town. And it's nothing, it's nothing here. It's not here in town. But just a few miles, or just a few miles outside, just down the road here. And there's, for a small town, and for a small town, there's quite a bit of traffic today. Maybe it's not as quiet and peaceful as I thought it was. But any, anyway, like I was saying, the real main, the main reason why I wanted to come out here and film is not here in town, but just a few miles out, a few minutes, just a few minutes away down the road here. And that place is called Greenback Castle. Now, I had never heard of Greenback Castle. I just, you know, I was just doing research on towns in this area and just happened to see that that was on the map nearby. And you know what, and you know me, I couldn't pass, you know, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go check that place out. So that's what we're gonna do. This is crazy. Greenback Castle is what it, it's called on the map. And here you go, you got some signs. <laughs> kind of creepy. <laughs> this is kind of creepy, but kind of cool at the same time. I mean, it's legit. I mean, it was it was on Google Maps. Parking here. That is so weird. <laughs> Looks like we've got the skater standing guard here. Area 151. At, enter at your own risk. Or at own risk, I guess. I get what you're trying to say, though. I got you. Man, I wonder who built this place.
This was definitely something I had no idea existed. Now, I just finished talking to the guy who owns this place, and it sounds like he started, you know, he owns this property here and the houses that are around it. There's about five or six houses on the street, on the gravel road that leads up to this, leads up to this place. And he said he started, he built this place from scratch about 30 years ago. And uh, he's got hundreds, he says over the years, he says hundreds and thousands, thousands of people have traveled up here. You know, he's got a, he's got a, a log book. He's got a log book inside, inside the castle here. People from Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, all over the place. People have come up here to check, check this place out. They've signed the, they've signed the guest book. And I'm completely blown away. You know, I'll show you a little bit more here in a second. He just, like I said, he just finished giving me a tour of the place. But you can just tell in the back, looking, you know, looking behind me. I'm sorry, let me uh, angle that up a little bit. 30 plus years ago, he started this. Absolutely incredible. And he's got a, another couple of people. Here. There's another, there's some more folks here that he's, uh, giving a tour right now but uh yeah like I said he just finished showing me around so I'm gonna show you show you some of the stuff that I saw now the gentleman here he refers to this as Christ's house God's house and that's what he built it for and you'll see here in a minute all the crosses that he's got all the crosses he's put into the architecture here. And here he's got the, the throne room. So you've got them all, all the crosses here, all over the walls. And there's the three thrones. That's really cool. Built all this himself over the span of 30 years. That's incredible. You can even play a game of chess if you'd like. Oops. Just kind of bumped into, bumped into that there. You gotta watch your step through here. A lot of low arches and sharp edges. Here's some more of the crosses I was telling you about. All along the pathways here. All made, of, made out of a tile and polished stone there, inlaid in the concrete. So many little details in here. You gotta real, look real close to see, see some of them. Here's another shot looking at where we came from. He's got artwork, paintings, everywhere here. Just years and years of, of work and effort that went into this place. People left their names carved in here. Just kind of gives you an idea of how massive this place is. Even have some cartoon characters painted on these. This is so neat. A little weird, of course, but still pretty cool. Over here, he's got a little garden going. So he's got some uh, blueberries or blackberries growing out there in the back. 
It's also got a little field maze here. It says he hasn't gotten around to cleaning the brush out, but it's got a got some signs buried here. Let's see, let's see if we can find one. There we go. There you go, castle maze. Starts right there. Yeah, but like you said, he hasn't cleaned it out in quite a while. Here's a shot of the front entryway. We're inside looking looking towards the outside. And he was telling me about how he's got how he had all these glass bottles inlaid in this front wall. That is really cool. I love seeing stuff like this. There you go. Indeed he is. And here you can see a clearer shot of all those glass bottles. The green crosses and all the blue. And here another good shot of the outside of the castle. Just kind of gives you an idea how big this place is. Well, I hope you guys found this place as interesting as I did. Like I said earlier in the video, I had absolutely no idea this place was even here. Didn't even know it existed. And apparently, you know, from talking to the guy, you know, he's had thousands of visitors here. Universities have come here to check this place out. Just every walk, all walks of life have come here. You know, I thought this was, when I came out here to film, I was just, I was just gonna be filming the, filming the town for you. But when I saw this on the map, just uh, just outside of town, I couldn't help but come over and check it out. And I am so glad I did. Super neat place and super nice guy. Here's one more shot of the front before we head out for the day. Kind of give you guys one more, one more idea of just how massive this place is. Now he had a lot of rooms that are inside that I had that I didn't that I decided not to film, but uh, like the room where he's got the his guest book and some other little crevices in there. But uh, decided not to go in there. He's got some stairs leading leading up leading to the upper levels, but uh, I decided for safety reasons to. Uh, stay off of those and just keep on the main floor. He said I could go up there, but that was just a personal decision of mine to, just like I said, for safety reasons. Well, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really do appreciate you taking time to come out here and explore with me. Really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if I did, if you did like the video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up below. Leave me a comment if you like. Let me know what you thought. And uh, let me know if there's any other towns out here that you'd like me to explore. And again, I just, you know, I just want to say thank you for everybody who takes the time to watch my videos, to go on these journeys with me. I really do appreciate all of you guys all of your support. It really does mean the world to me. And until next time, I hope you have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.